Next on the list is I-10, and I-10 has also been an EPP modified block. So I will get my booklet and see that they have simplified this block, and it's an applique block. So you have a big giant square and a five pieces to make the center, and then you've got four blocks. And so all of these is going to be about placement. So I'm going to have to find the middle of each one of these sides and then place these so I'm going to find the middle of this side of the square and mark it with this. I'm also going to want to find my X from side to side so I can place this properly and I'm going to use my staple method. I've got my pieces on my box of course and so I've got my big giant square piece and my other pieces here. So I'm gonna base these, I base my squares opposite sides and then opposite sides. And then my triangles, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna base the point sides first and then this little short side last so my tags go away from my square. Now that's gonna put conflicting corners here, but that I don't know that there's a better way to do it without doing tags and I'm just going to do it this way because it'll it'll be fine. So let me get my basting done and then I'm going to assemble my X and then I can work on my placement on my main block. All right, so I've basted my, my squares and my triangles, so opposite sides. And so I have fussy cut all of my squares at the same point on my fabric. Now I have a couple decisions. I can make all of these be the same orientation all the way around, or I can spin them so they're basically facing the middle on whatever dis whatever way I decide to have them face, which is what I'm gonna do because it makes sense to have that when you have a rotating pattern in the middle too because these triangles are also the same piece of a part of the fabric so they each have this little leafy thing on them. <clears throat> so I am going to attach these triangles to the square first. I'm going to attach opposite sides and then I'm going to attach opposite sides from there to make this star unit. And of course I got tags sticking out. As I applique that down my tags will get tucked in. So let me get my star unit assembled first and then I will worry about my applique placement. So I found the middle of my each side of my of my square. <clears throat> and then because the same side of my piece is going to be on the outside of my square, I labeled the same section of each of my little squares. So right here is a mark for my center of my little squares because these are one inch. And I'm going to line up my marks and I'm going to line them, line them up on the edge of the square. And then I'm going to staple this in place all the way around my piece. And I've got this taped so I can start assembling my X section. So I've taken my squares and I've stapled them into my big square. And the nice thing about the staples is because there's two anchor points, they don't shift. So I will be able to applique these on when I'm ready to applique. So right now I'm going to put my X together. All right, so I've got opposite ends attached to my X unit and then I will just attach the other two to the sides. All right, so I'm ready to put on my star unit. I've got this all assembled, and all these are stitched down. Now, I've got a very light pencil line. I've lined up the line on here. I didn't take it corner to corner, because I don't have to. So I've got a light pencil line here, and a light pencil line through here. And when I went to line it up, I could, it just didn't, the, the square, because you've got this as a seam, this square didn't look right, it didn't look centered. So what I also did was I found the middles of where I marked my squares and put light pencil lines where that line is 
so that I can line up my corners of my square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these corners on the pencil lines and then the points of these points on the diagonal pencil line. So this point right here is going to be on one of these pencil lines. And then once I line all that up, I'm going to staple my piece down. And once I've got that all stapled, then I can finally start my applique. But placement is everything. I am going to staple each one of these down. So I will get my, now that I've got all my marks, I'll get everything lined up and stapled down. So I've got three of my four points down. So what I did is I lined up my, I lined up these points first. And the, the difficulty is to ignore these little bits. So this has to be on the pencil line. And this being, these points being on the pencil line is key because this, this, these can wiggle a little bit. They're long and they're also stitched. So you have to line them up directly on the pencil line and then staple them down one at a time. I did opposing sides and then opposing sides because it seems to sit better that way. So I go to do this one and you can see that it's off. So I'm just going to scoot it and then staple it where it needs to be. And that's why you have to do, that's why you have to line up the square because the square needs to be visually centered and then you can center these with no problem as long as you know where to put them. So I'm going to staple that down and then I'm going to get started with my applique. Alright, so I started appliquing my squares and my squares, you're going to have to tie off each one because they're floating in the middle of a block. So what I've done is I've started on the outside edge and the reason I did that is because that's going to be part of the sashing seam, but I also did that because it's going to be really, really easier to tie off. So I'm going to start in the middle of this, go all the way around, come back, and tie it off there and go to my next square. So that's how I'm going to do that, and then I'll be able to start on my center section. So I've got all my squares appliqued on. And when I started my applique for my center section, I started here about halfway up. So I came around and I'm tucking in my tags as I go around. And when I get to the top here, I come up the one side on the whole side. So then I have somewhere for the point to push against. So as long as my stitches are small enough, I can tuck this under and push it under to this line so it doesn't come out the other side. So that helps me. Now this point, I got a little too rounded off, but I didn't want to fix it because I was having problems with it. Probably because I got a glob of glue in there or something. But when I do come to these corners, I do tack the actual corner down of the square, not just the triangles. So that will help stabilize this center as well and keep it, keep it in the right location when the papers come out. So I'm just gonna finish off this whole section and I've already taken this staple out since I've secured this point. Now I've finished my applique of my center section and I have removed my staples and I have a completed block.